All right, I want to welcome you guys to Griffin's Industrial Welding School. My name is Mr. Griffin. I'm here with one of my beginner students, Jeremy. He's, he's doing a phenomenal job. All right, hello, I'm Jeremy. Uh, I've been taking classes here since January. Uh, this is his last, he has one more week of the program before he's fully certified, so we just want to go over some of the theory. You know, he's, he's a phenomenal welder, but now we want to go over some of the theory to make sure he's good to go before we get out here in the field, okay? All right, Jeremy, we're going to go over some of the different electrodes that you'll use when you get out here in the field, okay? So, if you're using a E6013. Oh, okay, that's a fast fill. Uh, so, not fast fill, but... Fast freeze? Fill freeze. So, fill freeze rod, okay. Now, what's the E represent? E represents the electrode. Okay, what's the 60 represent? Tensile strength. Okay, how many pounds of pressure can this rod hold? Up to 60,000 pounds. That's good, that's good. What's the one represent? One is gonna be the positions you can weld with it. Okay, and what position can I weld this rod on? One is all positions. Okay, and what's the three represent? The flux type and the current you can that, use. That's good, that's good. And remember, this rod is used for like fabrication work. Filling and, gaps, and, and yeah. it's got like medium deposition, medium Medium penetration. penetration. That's correct. That is correct. Okay. All right. We're going to move over here to the weld discontinuities. Okay. These are things that can cause them to fail a weld test. Okay. All right. So as far as the weld discontinuities, what is porosity? Oh, Jeremy. Porosity is when you have uh, like holes in your weld. It's when you get dirt in it. It's okay. from not cleaning it properly. Not cleaning it properly. That is a phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. So, yeah, Jeremy is, is doing a, a great job here at Griffin's Industrial Welding School. He has one more week. You know, he has a full understanding of the theory and the welding side. So, we're going to get him out here and he, he's going to be ready to go. Okay. So, if you guys are ever uh, thinking about learning a new trade and you're kind of stressed out and you're on the fence about it, just remember hard work comes before success. And you, know, you can always learn this trade. At, by visiting us at griffinweldingschool.com. And if you ever need to buy welding products such as personal protective equipment, you can always come and visit us at griffinweldingschool.store.